Hi boys and girls, welcome to another week of Cubbies. I'm so excited that you're here to join me again this week and to learn more about Jesus and how to tell the good news about him. But first, I think you guys should stand up and sing the Cubby song with me. We are Awana Cubbies, we're happy all day long. We know that Jesus loves us, that's why we sing the song. We hop because we're happy and we jump and shout for joy. For Jesus is a friend to us, he loves each girl and boy. Good job, boys and girls, you can sit down. Well, we have learned so many core truths this year about God and about Jesus. Let's review all of them, okay? First, we learned that God is what? Creator, right? God is creator. And then number two was that God is the one true God. That's right. Then we started to learn about Jesus. And the first thing we learned is that Jesus is the good shepherd, right? He has a, just like a shepherd has a staff, he has a staff that he uses to take care of us. And then we learn something else about Jesus, that he loves all people, right? And then we learned that Jesus came to do something. That's right, Jesus came to save all people. And now we're learning our last core truth about Jesus. That says, Jesus says to tell the good news. Can you say that with me? Jesus says to tell the good news. We learned a little bit about that in our last lesson about how he gave us that special helper. Do you remember who that special helper is? That's right, the Holy Spirit who comes and helps us be able to remember and obey God's word from the Bible and to be able to tell others the good news. We're gonna learn more. We're gonna hear another example, an example from the Bible of someone who shared the good news. But first, I think we should hear from Cubby and see what's going on at the farm. So why don't you call him with me, okay? One, two, three, Cubby! Hi, boys and girls. Today, I met two new friends. Timothy and I were playing on the playground on Apple Acres Farm. We swung on the swings, slid down the slides, and we climbed on the big cruise ship. It was a lot of fun. And while we were sliding on the slide, two girls came to play. Their names were Hannah and Charlotte, and they both liked our blue vests. Hannah asked why there was an A on our vest, so Timothy told them that A stands for all. Charlotte noticed the big C on our vests next to the A, and Timothy remembered what he learned in Cubbies and told them about the C and that it stood for Christ. Hannah and Charlotte really wanted blue vests like ours, so Timothy invited them to come to Cubbies with us. I'm going to go now and find out from Timothy if Hannah and Charlotte are allowed to come. Goodbye, boys and girls. Wow, boys and girls, I'm glad that Cubby's friend Timothy was able to share the good news with, about Jesus with Hannah and Charlotte. Do you have any friends who play with you? Yeah, you probably do, huh? And did you know that you too can share the good news just like Timothy shared the good news with his friends? Well, today's lesson, we're gonna talk about a man from the Bible uh, who, whose name is Philip, and he chose to tell the good news. And remember, everything we learn in the Bible is true. So one day, there was an, an angel came to a man named Philip and told him to, said, go down at the road, go down to the road that goes between uh, Jerusalem and Gaza. And right away, Philip ran down there. And soon as he arrived on the road, he uh, looked one way. Look, look, he looked one way, and then he looked the other way. And finally, he was able to see a chariot moving along the road. And the a Holy Spirit told Philip to catch up to that chariot. So what do you think Philip did? 
yeah, he ran after the chariot. He ran, ran, ran to catch up with them. And once he, uh, once Philip reached the chariot, he peeked inside. He looked inside, and he saw an important Ethiopian official who worked for a queen. You know what? He was sitting inside the chariot reading a scroll. The scroll was like a piece of paper that would come out. They would have a kind of like a stick on on either end, and you would roll it out and and read it. And do you know what was on the scroll that he was reading? Any ideas? They were words from the Bible, from the Bible. And Philip could hear the man reading and he said, do you know what you're reading? Or do you, do you understand what you were reading? And the Ethiopian man shook his head and said, no, how can I? I need someone to teach me and help me understand. And at that point, the man asked Philip to come and sit in the chariot with him. As they rode along, Philip explained to the man what he was reading, that the words that he was reading was telling him all about Jesus uh, and about how he was God's son and he was go that he was our savior. Philip shared the good news with uh, the Ethiopian, with the Ethiopian that Christ had died for our sins and came alive again and that he is alive in heaven with uh, our Father God. And he told him that whoever believes in Jesus are saved from the punishment of their sin. Do you know what happened? That official, he got so excited. He was so excited to hear this good news. And you know what? He believed. He believed that Jesus was God's son and that uh, he believed that if he trusted in him uh, as his savior, that he would be saved from his sins. So he put his trust in Jesus. And uh, once he had done that, he told Philip that he wanted to be baptized. So Philip and the Ethiopian stopped the chariot and they walked down to the water and Philip baptized him. Now, bap to be baptized means that uh, a person gets uh, set down in the water and then brought back up again. And it's supposed to show that they have put their trust in Jesus. And you know, because of this, both men were so excited after this. They were just so happy. Philip was happy because he obeyed the Holy Spirit and he had sh uh, shared the gospel with uh, this man. And this man was so excited because he just put his trust in Jesus and he had heard this good news and he was just so excited to know it. You know, Philip, he obeyed uh, Jesus by telling others the good news. Remember our, last week, we learned that uh, Jesus told his disciples to go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. And that's what Philip did. And our Bible verse this week talks a little bit more about that. And it says in Romans chapter 10, verse 15, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. You know, this verse, it's not saying that you have to have beautiful feet. It's not saying that our feet are beautiful to look at, right? That's kind of silly. What it means is that God is happy when we use our feet to take us out into the world and to proclaim the gospel, to tell, tell others the good news about Jesus. And remember that word gospel, it means the good news that Jesus came to save us from our sins, that he died for our sins, but that he didn't stay dead. On the third day, he came alive again. And you are obeying Jesus when you go and tell others the good news. Let, let's, uh, remind, or let's review our core truth again because we're still learning it, right? Can you say it with me? Jesus says to tell the good news. Let's do it one more time. Jesus says to tell the good news. Well, you know, Cubbies, people need to hear the good news about Jesus. They can't hear them if we don't go out and tell them. Peter used his feet 
uh, to uh, run to the chariot and tell the officer the good news, to tell the, that officer about Jesus. And we can tell uh, the, or, sorry, and we can use our feet to go tell people about Jesus too. Maybe you could jump, or you can run, or you can walk, or you could skip. You can do all sorts of different things with your feet, right? But no matter what you're doing, you can tell the good news. And you know, Cubbies, you can be just like Philip, and you can don't have to be scared, but you can uh, share the good news and know that God is with you because He is always with you. And he will be there anytime you tell someone the good news about Jesus. And you can remember that God helped Philip tell the good news, so he'll help you too. You know, there's lots of different ways that we can share the good news, but let's practice one way that we could share the good news. Now, I don't know if you have your vest, uh, if you're wearing your vest right now, um, but uh, if you don't, you can pause the video here and go and get it, or you can just think about what it looks like as we go through it. You, remember, you've got two letters on your, on your vest, right? One is an A. What does that A stand for? A is for all. And what's the verse that goes with it? All have sinned, Romans 3.23. So you can start off by telling someone all of us have sinned. It doesn't matter if we're a child or an adult, a, a parent, a teacher, a grandma or grandpa, everyone has sinned. But then you can tell them about the second letter. What's the second letter on your uh, vest? It's C and it stands for Christ. And what's the verse that goes with that? While we were still sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. So you can tell the people or the person that you're speaking to, say, we might all be sinners, but while we were still sinners, Christ came and he saved us from our sins. You can say he died and took that punishment for us. But remember, after that, he didn't stay dead. You have to tell them that he, after three days, he came alive again. And that now he is in heaven with our Father God. And if you put your trust in them, he can you can live with him forever in heaven too. Well, I hope, Cubbies, that that helps you be able to share the gospel, the good news, with all, that, with all the people that you meet. Let's pray now and ask God for his help to share the gospel. And then we'll sing a song, okay? So I want you to lift your hands up and wiggle your fingers. Put them out to the side, swing them together, and put them in your lap. And I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes, and you can repeat after me, okay? Dear God, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you that he can help me share the good news about Jesus. Help me not to be afraid but to know that you are always with me. Help me to boldly share the good news about Jesus with everyone I meet. In your name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to sing a new song. Now, have any of you sang, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands? Probably. I'm going to guess most of you have. Well, we're going to change the lyrics a little bit and we're going to say, I'll tell the whole world the good news. And then we'll add on a couple verses. So if you want to stand up and clap your hands and sing along with me, go right ahead, okay? I'll tell the whole world the good news. I'll tell the whole world the good news. I'll tell the whole world the good news, I'll tell the whole world the good news. I'll tell the brothers and the sisters the good news. I'll tell the brothers and the sisters the good news. I'll tell the brothers and the sisters the good news. I'll tell the whole world the good news. I'll tell the grandmas and the grandpas 
The good news, I'll tell the grandmas and the grandpas. The good news, I'll tell the grandmas and the grandpas. The good news, I'll tell the whole world the good news. I'll tell my next door neighbor. The good news, I'll tell the next door neighbor. The good news, I'll tell the next door neighbor. The good news, I'll tell the whole world the good news. Good job, boys and girls. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you go out and tell the whole world the good news. Until next week, bye!